So season two of the treasure track has kind of been released. It has had quite a troubled start so far. I was not expecting this. So in the past couple of days, it had a really troubled start. So I held off on making a video until at least there were some more pieces in play. And at this point, there seemed to be most of the pieces in beta testing. So this is what we're going to be checking out. The Wizard Watch post reads, Join the new Treasure Track adventure. Help Mau Mau complete quests, as, and they will reward you with lots of epic treasures. Mau Mau is the name of the new character that was teased earlier, well, in February. That character was teased in the naming competition. So that's the name of the uh, character that was chosen. And right now, I'm on an alternate account that has this. My main account does not. So I'm on this alternate account that is very low level in Prodigy. So let's go ahead and open up the treasure track when we go to it. So this is the first place it takes us. As we can see, the treasure track season two is quite different from season one. There are plenty of differences, as you may notice. Let's just look around at this screen here. At the top, there are two tabs, the quest tab and the treasures tab. Right now we are on the quest tab, that's the one it took us to. It also says here at the top, complete quests in the quest tab to get the next set of treasures. And it says it ends in 49 days. Technically, it was in 50 days when it started. So this is quite a long treasure track for sure. It's very long, 50 days, that's getting close to two months. So we'll have to wait a while for this one to be over. And I definitely see why it's 50 days. It seems like it's a lot harder to complete than the last one, but we're going to go over that uh, starting, well, now. So at the top, we have Mau Mau uh, popping up. And it says, and well, they, she, whatever, says you have treasure to collect. And so far, that seems to be Mau Mau's only uh, dialogue in the game right now. I'll, we'll see if that changes. Hopefully it does. And so we have quests to complete, as you can tell. There are, well, these are categorized by all quests. And then daily quests, weekly quests, and season quests. Daily I assume reset daily, weekly may reset weekly, and season or for the entire season. So it appears that we have these quests complete. I'll just name off the ones that are here under daily. First, correctly answer 20 math questions. Then, cast 15 spells. And then, lastly, earn 500 pet experience. Now, what are these things out to the side, you may ask? Well, they're kind of representing points in the treasure track. It appears that these three quests all have 150 points. They will reward 150 points when you complete them. And points are going to be used to go through and unlock the next set of treasures, as I'll talk about in a minute. But these are some pretty cool quests. You have to do a lot of questions uh, spells and get pet experience daily I assume I really don't know much about how this works I really can't wait to get this on my main account to test everything out I will rest assured I will be doing that when it is actually released but there's also uh, weekly quests and season quests that are even harder so these points they do help get the next set of treasures as seen at the bottom it says treasure 2 uh 25 member works and 200 hot hots for members and five morph marvel mysticals for non-members glad they did that so the weekly quest the weekly quests are to answer 100 math questions that gives you 750 points so that's quite a lot then evolve your pets that seems to be evolving one pet it's for members only since mem evolving is for members only and it gives 1000 points so that's quite a lot um 
That's strange, really. Evolving pets as a quest. I don't know why, but oh well. Then there's cast 30 physical spells. So I, I guess across you and your pets, you have to cast 30 physical spells to complete this quest. And I do assume these are all optional. Like you don't necessarily have to complete all of them, but they help to get the uh, points necessary to get the quest to unlock the treasures. So there's also 30 astral spells, 30 shadow spells, 30 water spells, 30 fire spells, 30 plant spells, 30 ice spells, and 30 storm spells, all giving 750 points. So that's pretty cool as well for pretty much every element except neutral. And then 2,500 pet experience. So that's just, of course, like the battle stars that you get at the end of the battle. So that's 750 points for doing that. So yes, these are some, these are going to take a while to complete. Uh, I really do understand why there's 50 days. That's a lot. So on the season quests, we have answering 300 math questions, which gives 1,500 points. We have to evolve three pets, which is again for members only, and it gives 2,500 points. That is quite a lot. Um... I assume that, can you just go ahead and complete these on their own? So you could just go ahead and evolve three pets and get 2,500 points? I guess that's how that works. Just as fast as you can. So then you cast 90 physical spells, 90 astral spells, 90 shadow spells, 90 water spells, 90 fire spells, 90 plant spells, 90 ice spells, and 90 storm spells, all giving you 1,500 points to contribute to your treasure hunting and then there's 7500 pet experience and that also gives you 1500 points so these are crazy like i'm very surprised about all this i did not expect this to be how the treasure track was at all it's a lot harder and will take a lot longer to complete than season alpha and season one which i made videos about when they happened so as you see at the bottom Treasure 2 takes 1,000 points to get, and so we have to collect 1,000 of these points, I guess, by doing the daily, weekly, and season tasks to unlock Treasure 2, and then that'll go to Treasure 3, and so on. So, really, I have no idea how this is all going to work. I'm not going to try to do it on this account fully. I'm going to wait to do all that on my main account, so expect videos on that when it is released to my main account. But Prodigy did claim that it should be coming to all accounts by April 8th, so you can expect your account will have it by April 8th, but hopefully it won't take that long. They'll be um, releasing it to more accounts weekly, so hopefully we'll get it sooner than that. So now we're going to look at the other treasures that are in this treasure track. You can go to the tab or that go button also takes you to the treasures tab. So we're going to go ahead and check out what the other rewards are in this treasure track. They are very cool. It's a pirate themed one for sure. And that makes sense since Mau Mau is a pirate or kind of like an ocean themed character. I wonder how that will affect the future seasons. We'll have to see in 50-something days, I guess, or longer, depending on how long it takes. So, as usual, there are member and free rewards. And also, as usual, you already start out having completed level 1. Level 1 provides 250 gold for non-members, 200 florins, and the dinghy bed furniture item for members. Now, what's special about this is every item that was added in here that was not previously in HD in-game was updated to be HD, and that's absolutely amazing. The dinghy bed is a furniture item, an old furniture item in Prodigy, and as of right now, it's mainly obtainable on in the Lamplight General Store. But now it can be gotten through here as well, and it has been updated to be HD, one of the few old furniture items that has. It just shows a step in the slow progress of Prodigy 
making all the furniture and buddies HD. This will happen very slowly, and it has been happening very slowly over the past, like, year or year and a half or something like that. So, yeah, we've had to wait for a while, but at least there are more things happening at this time. So, Treasure 2 provides us with the rewards we already looked at on the other tab. Five more Marvel Mysticals for non-members, 200 Hot Hots, and 25 Member Works for members. Treasure 3 provides the Ship in a Bottle Buddy. Sorry, Furniture Item. I did not mean to say Buddy there. That is for uh, non-members, and it was also updated to BHD. The member section provides 10 Morph Marble Fathoms, so those are obtainable outside of Summerfest through this treasure track, and 25 Academy pages for members as well. This is the first time we've seen any, like, main type of currency from another area be added to the treasure track, and I think that's really cool that they uh, gave us this. We get um, Academy pages, and as we will see later, we also get Titan Shards through this so that's really cool, and I assume we'll be seeing more of that in future seasons. Treasure 4 provides 100 florins for non-members, 200 yards, and the Nessie Buddy for uh, members. And the Nessie Buddy was updated to BHD as well. It was previously not. It was also previous... Well, currently it is obtainable through the Shipwreck Shore... Um, Shadow Crate mini boss battle uh from July 2023. So now it has another way of being obtained. I kind of wish they had put in one that was currently unobtainable, but mm, we can't have everything. So Treasure 5 has 10 cosmic works. I love that those are back. It's cosmic works are great. Those were from the Enter the Cosmos Arena season and have been unobtainable since, so great to see them back. And members get 500 gold and 200 shivers. So Treasure 6 has 100 yards for non-members, and 20 Titan Shards and 10 Morph Marble Mysticals for members. So again, we get Titan Shards, which is crazy. You can only get those in the Titan Grounds as of up until now, so it's great to see that you get a load of Titan Shards here, quite a few, 20, much more than you would usually get for your battles against the Titan. Treasure t 7, sorry, has 5 Morph Marble Aquasters for non-members, and 500 Gold and 25 Cosmic Works for members, so these Cosmic Works are members only, remember that it does switch between them. So that's really cool that we get more Cosmic Works. I love the Cosmic Works so much. Treasure 8 has 15 Academy pages for non-members, and 200 uh, arrows, and the Hydroid Mythical Epic for members. So this is the Mythical Epic for this treasure track. The previous treasure tracks have had Drenchor and Solar in them, so... Hydroid, I think, is a great choice, of course, for this pirate theme. It was released in March 2023, so about a year ago from now. So, it's great to see Hydroid be obtainable again. Treasure 9 has 250 gold for non-members, 25 member works, and 200 uh, yards for members. So, Treasure 10 has 100 shivers for non-members, 200 Hot Hots and 25 Academy pages for members, and since this is a longer treasure track, there are also more rewards. So, unlike in previous seasons, there was 10 treasures, now there's 15. So, Treasure 11 has 5 Morph Marble Fathoms for non-members, 1,500 gold and 10 Morph Marble Aquasters for members, and Treasure 12 has 10 Titan Shards for non-members, 200 shivers and the anchor chair furniture item for members. The anchor chair is another one that was updated to be HD. So again, that's great. Um, Treasure 13 has 1,000 gold for non-members, 10 Morph Marble Mysticals, and the Crab Buddy for non-members. Sorry, for members. The crab was also reskinned to be HD. And it's great that this is now obtainable. It has been unobtainable since... 
uh, buddies and furniture were removed from the elemental shops in August 2023. And so it's great to see that the crab is obtainable here. Hopefully the other ones become obtainable in other ways pretty soon. We'll have to see on that though. Treasure 14, almost at the end. It has 100 hot hots, 30 titan shards. Well, 100 hot hots for non-members, 30 titan shards, and 25 cosmic works for members. So that is another great uh, set of cosmic works and titan shards. And treasure 15, the final treasure, final level, has the pirate parrot buddy for non-members. That was already in HD, and it was obtainable from a member box in 2022. So it's great to see this one making a return. Makes sense for the pirate theme. We have the treasure trust furniture item, which was also reskinned to be HD. So that's great to see it here. And I love the new design. And Coral Aquaster is the ultimate member pet for this one. Coral Aquaster was and is obtainable through Shipwreck Shore. It can be rescued right now, and that's for members only. So that's that, and this one happens to just be a re-release in here that has another obtainment method already, kind of like Stormy Tribeak in Season Alpha. So I love this set of rewards. I think this is a great set. I just happen to have these items already on my main account. So it's not like I'll be getting anything new this time around, but hopefully in future seasons there will be items that I don't already have so that I can get some new things. So right now I'm going ahead and doing a battle to be able to see kind of what happens when you finish. We're just casting some spells, gaining pet experience, all that kind of thing, doing battles so that we can see kind of the tracker on the quests so we'll see that once we finish this battle so i'm just going to go ahead and speed up the rest of it so that we can get through this faster all right so let's head back to the treasure track tab so that we can see what we've done so far here we are with this. It says we've answered 3 out of 20 math questions, 3 out of 100 math questions for the season world, the weekly reward, and 3 out of a 300 for the other. Then we have like other things like casting spells, physical spells. So we've done some of that. And so, yes, this is really cool. Like, I love this. I just wish it didn't have such a troubled start. And hopefully all accounts get this pretty soon because we need this and I hope it all goes real smoothly. So it should be out to everyone by April 8th, but hopefully you get it sooner than that. And what are your thoughts on this new treasure track in Prodigy? Season 2 is very different from Season 1, so I'd like to hear what you think about Season 2 and how it compares to Season 1. So go ahead and let me know all of your thoughts in the comments.